This video is about using an exponential growth function. Let's examine a question. In the video on finding an exponential equation, we imagined a situation where bacteria multiplied by the hour, and we found an exponential function to model this data. Now you're curious, how long will it be until you have 2,000 cells in the petri dish? If you haven't watched the video on finding an exponential function, I recommend that you go watch that one first, because you'll see how we got to our function of g of the x is equal to 219.32 times 1.046 to the t. This follows the exponential growth function format of g of the x is equal to a times b to the t. This is our a and this is our b. So we want to know, we have these times here, 12, 16, 20, 24, all the way up to 36 hours, but we're curious, at what point are we going to see 2,000 bacteria cells? We are, at 36 hours, we only have 1,107, so we don't have enough data, but we want to use our equation to go ahead and figure that out. So we know that we want to look for g to the x to be equal to 2,000. So I can actually just set my formula up like this. 2,000 is equal to 219.32 times 1.046 to the t. What I want to find is my t. All right, so how am I going to solve for this? Well, I can just start doing some algebra here. 219.32 is equal to 1.046 to the t. So that ends up being 9.12 is equal to 1.046 to the t. So how am I going to deal with the fact that I've I'm ri raising my 1.046 to an unknown exponent? Well, we have a rule from logarithms that's helpful to use here, and that is that we know that the log of b to the t is equal to t log b. So what I can do is take the log of both sides. So the log of 9.12 is equal to t log 1.046. Because what I did was I, this little step here was log 9.12 is equal to log 1.046 to the t. And we know from this rule that my t goes over in front. So now that I have this, I can take log 9.12 is equal to t log 1.046. I can determine what these numbers are. And I get 0.95999 is equal to t times 0 0.01953. When I divide this back over here, t is equal to 0.95999 divided by 0 0.01. 953, and all of the sudden I see that t is equal to 49.15. So the time at which I'm going to have 2,000 cells in my petri dish is roughly 49 to 50 hours. Because it's not going to hit it till after 49, I'm going to say that we we'll see 2,000 cells in the petri dish between 49 and 50 hours after the experiment begins. What we've done is we've taken our equation, we had data that helped us fill out an exponential growth format, formula, and then we just went further to find at what point are we going to hit 2,000. And we could find our hours. 49 to 50 is where we're hitting this with our line. I hope this has been a helpful video to help you understand how you can use an exponential growth function. Thank you for listening.